Hey everybody, Orange Box here. I wanted to make a quick video of installation process for the Minecraft Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod pack. A couple of people that have made comments on my shaders video have been having trouble, especially with the Y50 installing the shaders. So I thought I would um, just make a quick video of the process that I took uh, in order to get the shaders to work correctly. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is download Optifine. Now, I know that the Zeus shaders use the GLSL shader pack in order for them to work correctly. Now, the GLSL shader pack is actually up to 1.7.10, but to my knowledge, the Zeus shaders are not. So what we're going to do is set up the Zeus shaders for 1.75. In order for this to all work with Optifine, uh, this version right here is what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and download that right here. And another thing too, I'll put all these download links in the description. That way you can just get right to them, provided that the links still work when you go and try this. We're going to go ahead and download... Uh, the Optifine and I'll be right back. Okay, so Optifine is downloaded. The next thing we want is the GLSL shaders mod and we're going to use the 1.75 version just like we did for Optifine and we're going to use this link right here to download it and once I get that done I'll be right back. Okay, so we've downloaded the GLSL shaders mod and now we're going to go and download the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. The version that I use is the 10.1 and I use Ultra. At least that's the one I used first and the one I got to work, so that's the one I stuck with. So let me download this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see these files in here or not, depending on the resolution on the YouTube video, but maybe if you go full screen you'll be able to read everything. So. Now that we've downloaded these three files, Optifine, Shaders, and Zeus, we're ready to start the install. The one thing and probably important note that I should make is that I have uninstalled Minecraft, and every time I do these Shaders mods, I basically start with a fresh slate. So the first thing we need to do is actually run Minecraft. So let me get that popped up. Okay, so we have Minecraft up, or at least the launcher, and you'll see that because I'm starting with a fresh slate, I need to actually download and play Minecraft 1.7.10, which is, at least at this point, the latest release version. So let me click play. I just want to run 1.7.10 real quick, start a new world, punch a couple of trees, and then I'm going to exit out of it. So once I'm done with that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've played for just a couple of minutes in 1.7.10. Now, before we install anything, with the shaders. I'm going to take my default profile over here, I'm going to edit it, and I'm just going to use version 1.7.5. That should be the only change we have to make. But now that we're using an older version, or at least since I started from scratch with Minecraft, I don't have 1.7 installed. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit play and let this download. Okay, uh, as you can see here in the bottom left, 1.7.5 is now running. This is just vanilla Minecraft. So let's go ahead and just verify that it works. And another reason why I'm doing this is in order for the GLSL shader packs to install correctly, uh, we need to run 1.7.5 at least once. Um, so that's basically what we're doing here. We'll punch one piece of wood and get the heck out of here. Good enough for me. Okay, now we're actually ready to do all the installing, and the next few steps are pretty self-explanatory, but after each one of these installs, I actually do run the game just to verify that each step installed correctly. Um, so let's go ahead and install Optifine. Easy enough. Now I'm gonna run the game one more time. Okay, the launcher is up, and you'll see that when we installed Optifine, that it added another profile called Optifine, which we're just gonna run real quick and see if everything works. Okay, so I'm not really gonna do a whole lot with this, but I'm gonna check the options under video settings, and if Optifine is installed, then you'll see these uh, text boxes pop up as you hover over things. Um, so 
given an explanation of what each thing does in Optifine. So I'm convinced that it's installed correctly, but just for the giggles of it, I am going to create another world called Optifine and just run around in it for a second. Okay, I don't see any kind of crazy errors or anything yet. Nice island that I've spawned on here. That would be kind of fun. Anyway, good enough for me. Let's move on. Okay, now with Optifine installed, we're going to go ahead and install the shaders mod, the GLSL shaders mod. Double click that. Install it. Yep, we are okay. Everything worked. Let's run Minecraft again. Okay, now that we have the launcher up, you'll see that the shaders mod also installed a couple of more profiles in addition to the original Minecraft profile and the Optifine profile. There's a shaders mod profile and there's also a shaders mod profile that has Optifine and that's what we're going to use. So we'll hit play. Okay, now to verify that the GLSL shaders have installed, they'll add the shaders button here and this is kind of the default. We're not going to do anything with this just yet. But, as in keeping with the original thing I was doing, let's go ahead and create one more world. Just to make sure that uh, everything is still okay and we don't have any weird graphic glitches yet. Okay, so we're in. I'm looking around. Everything at this point seems okay, even though it still looks like vanilla at this point. Good enough for me. Let's move on. Okay, so now we have Optifine and the Shaders mod installed. So far, so good. The next thing we're gonna do is work on this Zeus Shaders. So I'm actually gonna copy this, this zip file that we've downloaded. I'm gonna navigate to my uh, Minecraft folder. And one of the things that the install process will tell you to do is to create a folder called Shader Packs, which I've highlighted there. Uh, in my case, it's already there, so I don't have to create it. So let's go inside this shader packs folder. We're going to go ahead and paste that zip file copy or the copy of the zip file. And inside of here, it doesn't necessarily say to do this in the installation instructions, but I always unzip it, but I'm going to unzip it. Now you'll see that when we unzipped that zip file, it created a shaders folder. And inside of this folder, you'll see a bunch of FSH and VSH files. The other thing that I do is I leave this zip file in this folder. Okay, so now we're ready to start up Minecraft. So when we install the uh, Zeus shaders, it doesn't create another profile, but we still want to just use the Optifine shaders mod. So let's go ahead and click play. Okay, so we're back in. Uh, the only thing that I want to do before we start a new world is go into options. We want to go into the shaders area. And under here, I'm actually going to select the um, Zeus zip file that we left in the folder earlier. Now, before we leave this screen, there's a couple of things we need to double check. Cloud shadow needs to be turned off. Tweak block damage needs to be turned on and old lighting needs to be turned off. In my case, it was already by default turned off, so I'm not gonna touch it. Now, the only other thing that I do that the install instructions don't really mention is I'm gonna turn off the default Minecraft clouds. So under details, we're gonna change the clouds from default to off. And the reason why I do that is the shaders creates a procedural sky and I just don't want the Minecraft clouds if we're using that. Okay, so we're ready to start a new game. Call this one Zeus Shaders. We'll go ahead and go creative for the fun of it. And cross your fingers, hope everything worked okay. Let's go for it. Okay, it looks like we've spawned in a jungle. It looks like the shaders are installed. Uh, it's a little bit choppy during the chunk rendering here. But um, I think we're in.
Now, one thing you notice, and again, I, I had this problem in my last Minecraft shaders video where you see these funny glitches on the water. Um, there was a YouTube user that left a comment for me that goes by the name of Gotham. Um, he mentioned that I come into options, uh, video settings, and under quality? Yeah, under the quality, under MIP map type, change that to linear. Um, so I tried that, um, but I still have the glitches. So for those of you that didn't see my other Minecraft shader video that where I was testing the frames per second, um, the only way I know of to get rid of this is to hold a torch in your hand. So if we go into the inventory, grab a torch, you'll see that in slot number one down here, I'm not holding the torch yet, but if I switch over to the torch, boom, graphics glitch gone. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's causing that, but now if I switch back, the graphics glitch is back. Interesting. Okay, so I hope this has been informative uh, for some of you, and I hope that it works uh, for the people that have uh, the Y50 or any other computer for that matter. Um, I'll be the first one to admit that a couple of times when I tried to install it, uh, it did not go so smoothly. Um, and so, I, I, you know, the process that I showed here, I hope works. Um, Oh, nice having a jungle right next to the uh, snowy biome, huh? Welcome back to 1.75. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please leave a like. And uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. And uh, I guess that's it until next time. Thanks, everybody.